People of Reddit, what single act of seduction got you thinking, wow, that actually worked? Number 1. I remember in high school I walked up to a girl I had never seen before in my life at my best friend's house party. She went to high school with my best mates, so she wasn't a complete stranger to the whole situation. However, they never really were close, and she was a new person to me. I had consumed quite a lot of alcohol at this time, but I was at the confidence stage and not completely smashed, hence me remembering the whole thing. So I walk up to the group of girls she was with and used as my introductory line, Do you mind filling out a survey? To the specific girl I had my eye on. I proceeded to hand her my phone with an add new contact screen open, expecting a slap in the face or a knockout from her boyfriend I had no idea she had, or if he was at the party. She laughed and immediately took it and put her details in. Then asked her, that's a fake number, right? And I proceeded to call the number. She told me her phone was in the other room and she'll prove it to me. She told me to follow her to go get it. To cut a long story short, in the other room it turned out it was her actual number and we started talking for 15 minutes. Casual chat about where she was from, etc. Eventually, we were in my best mate's bathroom. Attractive, I know. Hitting it off. This whole time I was thinking, how the heck did that just work? After months of trying to get a girl, it wasn't working out. But the lamest chat-up line got me a girl within 15 minutes. I later found out the next day she was also completely sober the whole time, known as the innocent type, and was the daughter of the head of the school she was at. I don't know what happened or why she wanted it, but at the time, being a teenager, it was a complete win. I guess the moral of the story is always be prepared. You never know what life is going to hit you with. Number two. I had been on a date with this girl once or twice and then we'd go swimming. Afterward, we went back to my apartment. Well, my dad's, I was still in high school and wanted to get rid of the smell of chlorine on me. So I told her I'm going to shower. Feel free to join me. That half-joking tone, thinking it would never work. Two minutes into it, she hops in there with me. That's the story of how I lost my virginity. Number three. Got a girl in my bed by telling her about my clock that projects the time on the ceiling. She got on my bed, looked up, and said, I don't see anything. Enter Smooth Jonas. Oh yeah, I have to turn the lights off. Bada boom. We have a membership for those who like more naughty and interesting stories that aren't advertiser friendly. Check out the link in the description and join our amazing confessions community so you can support the channel. Number four. Sarcastically introducing myself as King Edward III to the girl sitting beside me. It was during one of those inane college class introductions where you pick a partner and introduce them to the class. She went on to regale the class with my many military victories and how I deposed Roger Mortimer for control of the English throne. Number five. A buddy of mine had been drinking with a good friend, now G.F. They were sitting on the couch and he told her, You smell like a girl. To this day, even she doesn't understand how that worked. Number six. I was texting a girl one night who lived about an hour away. She said, I wish I was tired. I just can't sleep tonight. I said, you should come to sleep with me instead. She said, okay. An hour later, she was at my door. We banged. I have no idea how that happened. Well, when a man and a woman love each other very much, sometimes they have a special hug. Number seven. I shouldn't have been surprised because it was a tried and true JFK line. But I was anyway. I was at a loud party trying to chat up a very pretty girl I had met once or twice before. I got frustrated at not being able to hear, and I just leaned real close to her and said, Would you like to discuss this someplace quieter? She just gave me this look, and 20 seconds later, we were in her room making out. She was hosting the party, and after that point, I guess she didn't do a very good job hosting. Number 8. On the way home from a drunken first date, she starts observing and asking about the scars on my hands, she asks if they hurt as she kisses one better. I reply with yes and point to another. Kiss. Another higher. Kiss. I point to my lips and it's on. In sober retrospect, it's totally cheesy and embarrassing. You pulled the old Indiana Jones, number nine. I was at a bar having a little birthday party for myself and my super crush shows up. I'm three sheets at this point and we start talking. Out of nowhere, the honesty train comes barreling down the tracks and I say to her I'm super drunk and I'm probably going to start throwing up in a few minutes, so if you want to make out, we gotta do it now, she says. Okay, 
We make out, and much later than I thought, I threw up true to my word. Not on her, though, just for clarification. Number 10. The week before I had gone on my first date with a great girl, it had come Saturday night we had both been working on a project together with a bunch of other people. It was super cold, so I gave her a ride back to her dorm, but she'd forgotten her keys. And it was late. She was worrying about where she'd sleep that night. And I said, I've got a bed. So she agreed, and we spent that night in my twin bed, cuddling and talking and dry humping until about three. Thirty in the morning. Nine months later, we couldn't be happier together. No, she's not pregnant. She's not pregnant because she just gave birth. Number 11. My friend was talking to this girl who said she was an aspiring actress. He said, let's do a scene. She agreed. So they pretended to be a couple at a diner having a fight, and it ended in a furious makeout session. Probably the most masterful and committed pickup attempt I've ever seen. Number 12. One time I was at a club, had a few drinks, and just started dancing with this girl for a few songs. The booze flowing through us, we made out on the dance floor a little bit. And eventually, as the night was coming to a close, bars closed at 3 a.m. state law. I got brave and asked, so do you have a place to stay for the night? She thought about it for a second and then said no. The chicka wow, wow, the story of my first one-night stand. Number 13. I got a girl's number, and the first time I called her to try to get her to come out for drinks, she told me she had to pick up her friend at the airport early the next day. I said, I live way closer to the airport than you, and I have an alarm clock. We were FNing like two hours later. Looking back, I still can't believe that worked. If you've made it this far in the video, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. Number 14. I came home to see my weed dealer roommate smoking pot with a very hot woman. She was an escort buying weed from him. I opened a bottle of wine and after a bit she told me all the things she would do to me if I paid her. I told her that she could get all the sex she wanted for free. She stayed with me that night and she became my GF for about four months. Had to end it because she was batshit crazy. But he was fun. It's worth mentioning that I was a broke-ass wheelchair-bound 30-year-old. Number 15. About three years ago, I went to a house party with some friends. One girl was there who I thought was absolutely gorgeous. Puerto Rican, has nice skin, curly hair, and a great butt. I told my friend who lived there that I thought her friend was cute. I keep seeing gorgeous PR girls around the party. We make slight eye contact and she brushes past me a few times. However, I have yet to say anything to her. This goes on for about two hours. Fast forward and a few of us go outside to smoke and drink. We're just chilling on the back porch, no lights on, and the girl is just standing next to me. I put my arm around her waist and pull her towards me little by little. Eventually, the group disbands, and everyone goes back inside except us. We just stand there for a little while, and I kind of just keep caressing her body with my hands. This turns into making out, and the next thing I know, she starts zipping my pants down. And that is the story of how I got a blowjob without uttering a single word. I surprised myself that day. Number 16. I just met this one girl after high school, and she was telling me that she gives an amazing head. I immediately tell her that her head game is probably whack and she's over-exaggerating. She instantly gets mad and whips my dick out and starts giving me the best head I've ever gotten in my life. I think I came in less than two minutes, and it just to add on, after that she never did it again. She literally gave me the best head ever, just to prove to me that she had skills. I can't believe it worked. Number 17. Met two girls in a hostel in New Zealand and went out drinking together. Got a little tipsy and told them both I was terrible in bed. Even going as far as to tell them a few amusing stories for verification. To tears of laughter. They both went to the bathroom and drew straws or something because only one came back. And she grabbed me straight away and kissed me. A few shenanigans later and we were back in a room. An interesting night to say the least. Number 18. In high school, me and my friend went on a double date. He was dating a girl and she had a friend, so he brought me along. So, kind of like a blind date. At the movies. Once we got in, we were all laughing and cutting up, waiting for the movie to start. The girl I was with tried saying something to the other girl and got no reply. We look over and they're making out with each other. She then looks back at me and says, well, damn. Now, what do we do? It felt almost like an invitation to kiss her, 
So I grabbed her face and planted one right on her mouth and say, how about this? We made out the whole movie and dated for a few months after that. Number 19. Very early in college, I brought a girl back to my dorm to watch a movie. I knew I wanted to make move, but I had no idea how to be smooth about it. So like a true rock star, I just put my arm around her as we sat on the futon. Eventually, she nervously mentioned that she wasn't looking for a boyfriend or anything. That followed with me being like, oh, well, that's okay. I just, uh, was wondering if you'd want to fool around or something while gesticulating like an idiot. She was totally down with it, and I got a BJ. Number 20. One Halloween, years ago when I was 17, I asked a gal I'd known for a few months what she was doing that night. She told me she was babysitting for some people and would be staying in. I jokingly said, Why don't I come over and we'll make wild passion a love? She said, Yeah. Met her at 8 p.m.? Was not disappointed. Number 21. I was flirting with some old married lady at the bar. She went to the bathroom and her friend said I should follow her. I did, thinking it would be funny. She basically ripped my pants off and started blowing me. Not only was she married, but we were in a filthy bathroom and a girl peeing next to us. I apparently am not very sexually competent, because I only got to the half-mast before I felt bad and gross and left. I ended up getting drunker and putting it in her ass later that night. I felt so gross. Number 22. I once asked a girl I met that night if she wanted to go bang in the pipes behind the pool hall, a giant maze of construction pipes. It didn't work that night, but apparently I gave her my number and she ended up calling me a week later and we had a good time for a couple of years. This question came up after making out with one of the two girls she came with, then making fun of the other one until she had to be physically restrained from attacking me in the parking lot. You must be either ridiculously good looking or just made all that up. Could be either one, I suppose. Number 23. Apparently, intently listening to a woman is like pure liquid sex. I've had completely unintentional hookups simply on the basis of finding something they had to say interesting. People I expressed zero sexual interest in have remembered me, or asked about me weeks after a single conversation. I come to two conclusions based on this. Number one, evidently no one listens to women, or at least not full-grown men. A stranger paying 100% attention to your words must be the female equivalent of an impromptu blowjob. You can make their whole fucking month. Number two, despite knowing this, it's really effing hard to do. There's too much distraction in the modern world. Most idle conversations are just too damn mind-numbing to commit your full attention. I guess for men, people pay just enough attention to them that it's no biggie. But for women, it's so rare it counts as a form's deduction. Number 24, I met a girl at a bar one night. We chatted for a bit. And at the end of the conversation, she left me her number and invited me to Afti's. I arrive at Afti's to find at least three other guys that were looking to hook up with her. We continued our conversation from earlier, whereas the other suitors not so discreetly made their intentions clear and failed. People started funneling out as things started to die down, and we made our way to her bedroom. Out of nowhere, I tell her, my back and shoulders feel really tense. Can you give me a massage? To which she hops on my back. For five seconds or turn over and start making out with her and things escalate further. No honesty. Asking for a massage was not the catalyst for hooking up as much as we may have made an actual connection that night. Another guys were going for a single act of seduction. Number 25. Approaching girls on the street, otherwise known as day game. Literally just going up to a girl anywhere, stopping them for a minute. Like how you might stop someone for directions then just explaining that you wanted to meet them and try to drum up a conversation. If you get along, getting a phone number and setting up a date. I've been on more dates in a year than most guys will have in their entire lifetime. It's difficult to work up the bravery at first, and you have to persevere through the rejections and weird reactions, but it gets easier, and eventually they don't phase you. If you're just straight up and honest and chill about things, you won't come across as creepy. Most girls react neutrally no matter what you look like. Looks don't really play a part. The brave action of just having the balls to approach and then actually be genuine, interesting, and not creepy is enough to get most girls on a date. 
It also makes you much more confident with being in public and dealing with people in general. I meet a few new people every week as a result now. New dates are about once every week or two weeks. Day game is also known as interacting with the opposite sex. Number 26. The Naked Man Better Version story time I was leaving my home country in a few days, and I wasn't going to return for a long time. I was with a girl I was madly in love with for the longest time, but she had a boyfriend forever. We always had a lot of chemistry, but the I have a boyfriend line always got in the way, and we have been getting further apart since she got together with him. She was at my house saying goodbye, and it was very tense. I had a very evident erection, and it caught her taking a look and blushing. I said, look what you do to me. She blushed even more. After a few minutes, I had to go to the washroom to pee, she said. Yeah, sure, pee. Trying to imply that I was going to masturbate to take care of the erection. And I was there, peeing my mind started to wander. We barely talked anymore since she got together with that guy. We had one common friend, and he wasn't that close. I wasn't going to see her again for a long time, so I got naked and went to meet her in the living room and said to her exactly that. I wasn't going to see her again. Her boyfriend checked her communications constantly and hated me, so we couldn't talk later. Whatever happened that day didn't matter. Well, I said that. She just kept looking at my penis. I then kissed her, and the rest is history. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click the link in the description to join our community. You can check out this video in your screen in the meantime, and I will see you in the next one.